Hold on, I'm zoomed in. So I'm working with Superior Outdoor Products for this fence build and so they sent a professional out to help me because I don't really know what I'm doing. So they sent this guy who actually knows what he's doing. So he'll make sure that the fence is actually installed correctly and uh, yeah, should be pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, shouldn't be too bad. I'm Clay Martin. I work with, uh, with Superior Outdoor Products and yeah, excited to uh, help out, lend a hand. I'm thinking what, we can get this done in like two hours? Yeah. Two hours, <laughs> all done, just two guys? Yep. <laughs> Let's pretend like we haven't already been out here for two hours and haven't right, done anything. Right. <laughs> two days, that's our goal. We wanna get this totally done in two days. It's ambitious, but it's also possible. Yeah. This orange string going all the way around, that's where the fence is gonna be. It goes about 72 feet from the house to the back. And I believe, if I remember right, it's 125 feet across. So we got the lines marked out for the fence right there. The only things missing now are the individual posts. This is not gonna be fenced in. This is about 15 feet, because I wanna be able to drive uh, my truck back here and access the woods. So vehicle gate there. I'll have a man gate right here for a pathway up to the garage, and then a man gate over there on the other side of the fencing. So right now we're about to start finally drilling out these uh, posts. We have everything marked. And so now we are uh, taking off the lines and kind of just throwing them about 10 feet into the middle so that we can auger out all these fence posts. Then we're gonna put the lines back on the pickets so that when we're setting the posts, we can use them as a reference to make sure everything's perfectly straight. So that's why these guys are staying here because the line's gonna go right back on them once we're done drilling. Oh, I am zoomed in. <laughs> this is um, a lot harder than I was expecting. He made me believe this would be a walk in the park. He lied to me. <laughs> I just kidding. said we'll get it done. Basically, well I should show you. We've made quite a bit of progress. We're probably 20% of the way done, I'd say. I'm viewing it as a third, a third, and a third. Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. We made some good progress, but we definitely need to take a little five, 10 minute break because if we don't, we'll just like exhaust ourselves and then have to call it quits early. So pace yourself. So that's what I have to, that's what I have to say. <laughs> Take a break now so you can work longer later. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dude, so, good. Woo! so progress update, we just played in the stream and it was really refreshing. <laughs> it was really nice. And we're pretty sure that in the next like 45 minutes, we'll just be able to finish digging all of the holes. I definitely think that we can do that. It's totally possible. Oh, I'm sure you wanna see my face that, that close. It's totally possible, but uh, like we're gonna be able to set a few posts today. Not that many, not, not that many. So here we are, day two. We have all of the holes augered out and now we are just hoping that we don't get rained out too hard because there's rain on and off all day. I still am pretty hopeful that we can get all the posts set and at least do a couple gates and some panels. That way I know what I'm doing when Clay goes back. I think we're gonna get a lot done and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it's just like a light rain. Like it's, it's raining right now, but not really enough to matter. I hope it just like stays like that all day. This hole was completely filled with water. So we threw in a hose, ran that all the way down to the back of the property and it's just siphoning out the water now. It's going pretty fast. Problem solving. That's all it is. I hope the rain lets us work today. It might not. We put that bottom rail in to get the distance perfect. Then we have this fence post level. This guy straps on and then gives us the level and plumb of the fence. And so with that, we know they're the right distance apart and we know that it's perfectly level and plumb. And then we just take two 50 pound bags, which I'm pretty sure is overkill. Correct me if I'm wrong. Two of these quick re 50 pound bags, you drop them in there dry, you just pour it in and then you fill it up with water. And then they just set, these are the fast setting stuff. So they set in 20 to 40 minutes, which is why there's a tarp on top of them. We do not want these getting wet until they're in the hole. I'm 
I'm not gonna worry about the dirt right now. I'll level that out once the fence is like built. So a little progress update here. The sun came out, feels absolutely amazing. It's just been rainy, dark, and gloomy all day. But we are making some really good progress. We have the fence all the way to there. We're over halfway, probably more like 55%, and we just had to finish up that side. Well, I wasn't sure if we would actually make it this far, but we have come full circle, and we're basically just finishing off now. So now we're gonna do the gate, and I think that's all that we have time for while Clay's here. We're gonna probably do like one panel section so he can show me how to do that, and then I can just do the rest myself later. Yep, that's the plan. That's the plan. Progress check here. It's day three. Clay went home this morning, so today it's just been me. I've been putting in all these fence panels. Things are going pretty quick. Let me show you how these panels go together. It's pretty genius. Because once you get it down, and if you set your fence posts right, it's really fast. So the way this goes together is you screw on these channels onto the sides of these posts. Then you pick up one of these panels and you set into that channel. Just kind of tap it in place, just like that. So then when you have one panel in, take the next panel, snap in the top, and then you just slide it down. And then you go all the way across. And then the last thing is to put the rail in the top and that just locks everything in. After you get these little channels in, that's the only thing you screw. Everything else just snaps into place and it is totally solid once you get this all snapped together. I'm surprised at how solid it is. The only panel that ever is like difficult is the last panel and it really just depends on how good you did your post spacing and how level they are but this one actually looks kind of perfect you just want to make sure that you snap it into this groove but that you also get the other side into this channel then you just slide it down but it can be super tight and uh, I've had to use a mallet a rubber mallet a few times to get that to seat all the way down perfect so that was perfect fence spacing you can see how tight this is and the last thing to do is to put the rail on. So this is what the rails look like. The rails on the bottom have an aluminum channel that runs all the way through just for added strength. The rails on the top don't, they're just the vinyl. But what they have are these little tabs that once you push them into the posts, these lock and can't come out. When I say can't come out, I, I mean that because I've tried to get them out and basically you have to tear off the whole end of the post. And I call that a good thing because that means it's not coming out. If you have to physically demolish a fence to take it out, that's a strong fence. The hard part is getting the first side in. After that, it's pretty easy. If you want to get it in, I usually do this side. Snap it in. This is the hard part. It's like that. And so you see that when I snap this side in, it went further than it needed to, and it dropped in the back. Now you just need to come to the back and snap that side in, and you're solid. Just like that, panel done. So we've come as far as we can because there was a small mistake in the delivery and the last few sets of fence panels are the wrong color. They're like an off-white, they're an almond instead of a white. They're gonna get those to me pretty soon, 
Um, but in the meantime, day three, not bad. I mean, the fence is essentially built. I would definitely have time to do this today if I had these panels. So basically that was day one, dug all the holes, day two, set all the posts, day three, build the fence, panels. Day four, just put up the gates. And that's definitely not gonna take a whole day, probably just a few hours. Like my guess is three hours, but I got a fence. Look at that. This is the gate I assembled with Clay while he was still here. There's no exact spacing for where the hinges go, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure they're evenly spaced and they're close to the top and bottom, not just in the center of the gate. Then I transferred those measurements from the fence gate to the fence gate post. That way I can get my hardware in the exact right spot. And then you just slide the gate onto the hardware you just installed. And I installed it with just one or two screws, by the way, just in case I got it wrong, I could move it without having a ton of extra holes. And then I added the nuts just hand tight and then I came back once I knew it would fit and I tightened them down. Then all I had to do was add the latch on the other side of the gate and finish putting on all the screws once I knew everything was gonna fit and there you go, the gate's done. It's literally that simple. I wish I could say the same for this other gate though because I actually disassembled and rebuilt this three times thinking I did it wrong when the first time I built it was actually right. I don't know what I was thinking, I just had my wires crossed. But yeah, I did the same thing for this other man gate on the other side of my house, and then for the vehicle gate at the back. Connecting the fence to the house is one of my favorite parts about this fence because you just treat the house like it's a fence post. You add the channel and then you just run your fence per usual. It's really cool, but my camera overheated so I don't have the last part of adding in the top rail. We did it, fence. It's done. It's been quite a week to get it to here, but uh, it looks so amazing. All the sections are in. It's very level, you know, as level as it can be with how sloped my yard is. It looks amazing. It's sturdy, it's high quality. I am already so excited to have this fence in, if you can't tell. And this is the part that I have been waiting this entire time for. Oh, just gotta put all the end caps on or the top caps, and it's done. I mean, it's gonna take like 10 minutes, so it looks so good. It's now been about a month and a half since I finished the fence, and I gotta say, I absolutely love it. It's basically everything I thought it was gonna be. It's sturdy, it's beautiful, it keeps the kids in, it keeps other things out. All of the gates function perfectly, although after a bit they do settle a little bit, so you have to adjust them, but that's actually really easy because they have uh, this system right here. All you have to do is tighten this nut or loosen it, and it can adjust the fence either way. So adjusting that has been super easy, it's been a breeze. I think my favorite part about having a vinyl fence is just how easy it is to have a vinyl fence have it look good. You don't have to restain it every year or repaint it or whatever. It was also super easy to install. I've been really impressed with this. I've had it for a bit now and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So if you've been thinking about putting up a fence and you've been deciding or on the edge between wood, vinyl, metal, whatever, I vote vinyl. I love this, this is fantastic. And Superior Outdoor Products did an excellent job on this fence. Thanks for watching.